anyway, I was desperate for coin, and I decided to sell a set of antique silverware that I kept packed away in an old sack. It was a family heirloom, and I was loath to part with it, but it was the only thing in my possession worth a bloody septum. So I rolled it up in an old cloth and went to Bellathor to get it appraised. Only when I placed the set on the counter, I noticed there was an old wooden spoon lumped in with the silverware. I chuckled, of course, and was about to slide the spoon into my tunic when Bellathor asked me, How much? And I asked him for the silverware. And the fool said, No! No, the spoon! Indeed. I rushed home and I picked up every worthless trinket, every old rag, piece of lint, and loaf of moldy old bread I could find. Now, he didn't buy everything, of course, but he bought enough to where I didn't have to sell the silverware. More importantly, I had stumbled upon an idea. If there are people willing to buy all the crap most of us throw away, then imagine the profits to be had in collecting it. Moreover, I found that people are willing to pay you gold to take their junk off their hands. Most of them are adventurers who come out of a cave with more loot than they can carry, only to find it's still a three-hour walk to Whiterun. I'm in the business of greed and fatigue, traveler. The greed makes them pick up the junk, and the fatigue makes them drop it.